He's got white hair and a mustache. <clears throat> that's all it takes to be a genius. Well, that's now the start of the episode. Oh. Well, here but, we are. All right. Uh, last episode, there was a piano, and then I did another piano. I put them both together now, and I started uh, start writing some more stuff. Uh, here's what it sounds like now. everything you already heard i only added a couple notes here and i ain't, I ain't even done connecting them but another thing i thought i would do while we're still working on this is i hit the configure button went in here and touched this knob which is the reverb amount grabbed it so it's down here now so that we can maybe automate this to come down a little bit each time it progresses or just here so it comes to the front more yeah exactly because here everything's kind of working together to create that like big room sound. Yeah. Like it's, it's holy me. shit, we are in a big stadium when I'm here. But you a little bit more intimate. Yeah, and then here it's like the piano just gets shoved in your face. Well, mm -hmm. maybe not in your face, but it gets brought closer. So let's, let's hear I mean, what that sounds like. on your face, so. a lot better doesn't sound like it's drowned out anymore i might bring this down just a little bit more too when it cuts to this part and then maybe make that more of a gradual step all right cool so let's hop back in here and finish out this little connecting melody here doing a baseline yeah well now it's gonna sound a little dry when it comes into this part but the idea is i'll be filtering in other instruments while this sort of plays and then when this comes in i'll probably have some drums going or something mm -hmm. so we'll see um and then let's create a follow-up melody to this guy here Is it your choice that you have it set up so that it has that little part in it that's more like a drum will come in? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it just feels like it gets yeah. more rhythmic here, so it would be I just be meant, good like, have... did you make space on purpose, or did you just, was it just, like, one of those happy accidents, and you're mm -hmm. like, ah, space could, you know, fill it up? A little of both. Okay. I mean, the f very first thing, when I actually created this part, the very first thing I thought was, okay, this needs drums, okay. like some sort of shaker, some some kind of hi-hat going on, yeah. something to back it up. Um, so that was already there in the back of my head. Okay. We're getting really high up there now. can't hear them. Damn it. Are you 
can only hear I always the ones do, that are wrong. Yeah, I always do like fucking a note right above a note that's already in there, so I should know that that's not going to work. I don't know. Dissonance can sometimes be your friend. Sometimes. Depends where it is, though. Yeah. It's got to be a passing And how quick it is sometimes. I wasn't too happy about there. Literally a couple. <laughs> mm. I guess this might be better if I put this where the other note was. I like that better. All right. All right, so let's just listen to like the drop into it just to give us like a grand overview of how the song's going and if this part <laughs> is even appropriate. So let's just take a listen.
Oh yeah. All right. So I mean, yeah, if it's you get like a little dance, a close up dance with that person, if you have that in your life. The only question is, is it too happy? I think other instruments can sadden it up. Or the fact that you ain't got a dance partner. I wanted to put in some strings. Maybe we'll do that. Put some strings in and then decide. Well, I mean, at the very least, this part's solid. Yeah. In terms of thematically fitting. Um, I think once you get some stuff going in that. This part is a little bit of a risk. I, I mean, I like the melody and everything. There's nothing wrong with that. It's you know, just more of an upbeat, kind of happier uh, version of the chord progression. You can always make it like a different instrument, too. Those are always, like, you can try I it could, out. But this is literally like a piano thing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, there's not really any other instrument that's going to sound good yeah. with... Dun, 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 dun. Like, that shit happens on the piano all the time. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just saying, like, you could take it. If you don't use it, you can use it somewhere else. But... I think, making a different I think song. Maybe what we'll do is we'll add strings and sort of make it sound a little more epic and big and then decide if we want to continue on with this uh, more sort of uh, intimate kind of melancholy sounding part um, or, you know, keep this happier part. Mm -hmm. So we'll decide that on the next episode, I guess. Yep. So happy uh, Christopher Columbus.